Good. Back on our blue spot. I'm going to pop this red now, which will clear it up. Next time he pops the black. Nine. I'm popping the black this time. Black will go back onto its normal spot. Red to the right of the pack he'll be playing for. All of a sudden, this is looking like a very good chance. Sixteen. Couple of reds out in the open. Such a good positional player. And he is fantastic to watch. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. He has an angle on this black to hit the one directly above the the black there, the one at the edge of the pack. They play it, but he doesn't quite have the angle this time. So he's moving that one red out that's causing him a problem. Now, definitely at his next visit, try and get onto the black two. half ball to hit the red right at the point of that pyramid of those six Stop reds. Two. Now, if he hits that four ball, he'll spread them far and wide, and he's bound to be on a red in either corner. And that's a shame. He'd be disappointed if not split better than that. It is five reds and five blacks. Four. Can't believe they didn't split better than that the way he hit it. It has happened once before in a frame to win a tournament. Uh, Stephen Hendry was uh, playing Four. on the O'Sullivan many, many years ago, and O'Sullivan led. I uh, oh sorry. Hendry led 8-2, Ronnie O'Sullivan leveled at 8-8, eight, eight, and Hendry made a 1-4-7 in the last frame. Now they are perfect. Now he will be going for the 1-4-7, trust me. He won't have anything else in his mind but a 1-4-7 from now. 49. This has just been a breathtaking performance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. All week he's been mustered. 57. The clearances he's pulled off consistently. Frames really he had no right to win. Makes everything look so easy. 64. Maybe it was somebody trying to get a bet on a 147. He's slightly hampered. He's made 11 147s in tournament play. And this, apart from 65. that one red open ball, is glorious. Now one more red to be sure of winning the frame. And of course the match. And you can really knuckle down to try and treat this crowd to a 147. 73. Well, ladies and gents, stand by your beds. This is an excellent chance. 80. 81. Doesn't have to play the cannon on the red and pink because the red, the bottom red will pot. 82. Could we finish this magnificent week here at the Newport Centre in the Bet Victor Welsh Open? 88. With a 147. It'd be fitting because he's played so 89. well this week. 
brilliant break builder. He just gets high on every ball. That's the key of when you go for a 147. You've got to get high every time. 97. Well, that's 13 of them. Damien Hurst and his friend Mike look on. Could it happen? 105. Could it happen? It's perfect. Now, the fact that he's a decent left-handed player, he might try and get on this and play the left-handed shot. Now, surely he's not going to make a 147 playing a left-handed deep screw, is he? Goodness me. 112. Left-handed, ladies and gents. Unbelievable. It's on now. Just this one shot if it gets perfect on the green. 120. Oh, that's gone a bit too far. Oh, this is tricky. The blue's in the horrible position for this shot. Come on, White, get past the brown. Brilliant shot. Oh, this is up there with the best 147s he's ever made, if he does get it. Lady praying, we're all praying. Yes. Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> to win a tournament, incredibly. He's even got a wry smile on his face. This is a genius at work. He knows he's got it now. It will definitely get a standing ovation for this one. And playing the last black left handed. Ronnie O'Sullivan, the genius at work, makes a magnificent 147. Greatly appreciated by everybody in the room and Ding Junwei. He's won the Bet Victor World Show for this audience and went absolutely berserk. A standing ovation throughout the crowd.